Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So again, we will continue our learning on CAP software for oil network modeling. All right, and as with the tank models, we have already built the Prosper models for all the six wells here. And the Prosper file is going to be associated with this well 1A through well 3B. All right, and we will define the files. We will define the wells, just like you know the procedure is you know similar to the how we define the reservoir using the tank model, the Emble software. Okay, so let's go to each well, double click. Okay, so let's see. You have label. You can change the name for the well. The name, it's just label. Right, what's shown here is the label, but you can also put name and comment. And well type, oil producer, currently no leaf, but later after we populate all the files, we will change it to, yeah, still, oil producer, no leaf. And then for the model, VLP IPR interaction or intersection, and then red model, use volumes. All right, and this is the browse button, and this is the you know the directory in which the file is saved, and then data summary, you know here the tank, and then IPR valid or invalid VLP also, and then the constraints controls if you have a downtime coning and so on and so forth. You know, the table is quite, you know, comprehensive for the control, coning, constraint, but we will not cover all of this now in this video. The main focus of this video is just defining the files, defining the wells. And hopefully as we progress into this exercise, we will also review or we will also check this each of these windows. Okay. So let's go back to summary and I'm going to browse the file. I'm going to find the, the file for each well. All right, so let's click on this browse button. All right, so this is the location, you know, the directory in which I save my six files for six wells, well 1A, well 1B, and through well 3B. All of these are generated in Prosper. Okay, so just double click or touch and click on open button. It will be, you know, it will be transferred. It will be connected to the gap. All right, so I'm going to define all the six wells and that's it. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I've defined all the six wells. I just paused the video and, you know, I've populated the gap with all the six wells, the six files. But as you can see, we still have red circles here. That's okay. It will disappear later on as we progress deeper and deeper in the exercise because we still have missing data here and there. Okay, so that's the main thing in this video. This video is focused on defining the wells. In the next video, we will progress and we will generate the well IPRs. Until then, See you and thank you.